Welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. And in today's video, I am doing another collab with Nikki Lynn. And of course, I'll have her channel linked in my description box. This is our third or fourth collab. Why can't I remember how many collabs we've done? But we've done a few and we're going to continue to do more. We already have some plans for more collabs together. But Nikki is such a beautiful light here on this platform and she's such a beautiful light in my life. I've gotten to know her a lot better and I just adore her. She is beautiful, she's creative, she's talented, she's intelligent, and her makeup looks are always on point. And one of the things, one of the many things I love about Nikki in terms of the makeup looks that she creates is that she can grab any combination of palettes, any combination of shades and create an absolutely beautiful look. And I'm not always real good about combining, and, but she is very inspirational to me, absolutely. So of course we chatted about what we could do for our collab today. And I came up with 15 random questions for us to answer. And then I thought, well, why don't we choose a palette out of our collection that we think has a very random color story and create a look while we're answering the questions with that palette. So I wasn't really sure what to pull out. I had a few palettes I was thinking about using, but I enlisted my friend Jan, Jan Van, to help me choose a random color story out of my collection. And she and I both settled on the festival palette from Juvia's Place. Now, when I look at this palette, the top part of it, or maybe these shades, maybe aren't so random, but with these shades thrown in on the bottom, it just, to me, it, it does say random color story. It does. Because I don't always know what to do with this palette. And I think that's one of the reasons why it doesn't get a ton of love in my collection, because I just kind of go, oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, normally, what I would do is just put these three shades together on my lid and be done. And I thought about doing that again today, but I do want to give some of these other shades some love today. So I don't know how random my look's going to be, but I do think this is a very random color story and it's a lovely palette. I really enjoy it. I just need to give it some more love. So like I mentioned, there's 15 random questions that we're going to be answering. We're going to be putting our looks together. Of course, I've already done my brows and both eyelids are primed in the P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumor 01. Alrighty, so let me figure out what I'm going to do with this palette here. I think I'm gonna start off with this shade right here and it's Oro, O-R-O, and put that in my transition area. My stomach is growling, I apologize. And then figure out what else I'm gonna use, but that's where I'm gonna start. And I do need to grab a brush for that. I think I'll just use this one right here. And I'm gonna start answering the questions. And I am really excited to see what palette Nikki chose. I, I think she did tell me, but I can't remember. And also, of course, listen to the answers to the questions I came up with. Okay, so the first question is, where do you like to go when you want to be alone? And I would say in here, this is where I really like to come when I want to be alone because my husband doesn't really want to hang out in here with me with all this makeup around. I mean, he, he has come in here and hung out with me. Uh, this is the room that I work in if I, when I work from home. And uh, I did work from home yesterday because he's recovering from his shoulder and arm surgery. And he came in here a couple times and kind of hung out. But yeah, this is, this is my alone room, my alone time room, and I just love it. This used to be my son's bedroom, and so there's some of his memorabilia still up on the walls and stuff, but I, I just love it in here. I really do. It's my happy place. Uh, I also like to go on drives when I want to be alone, too. Just get in the car by myself and go for a drive, you know, kind of clear my head, think about some things. Um, that's happened a lot in my life, like when things have been kind of going a little haywire. I will just get in the car and go for a drive. And uh, I usually go to the same spot, which is just kind of out away from the city and just go and sit on a bench and just you know, collect myself. And uh, it's a place that I grew up near. Uh, we used to call it the pits, uh, but it's basically just like little ponds, uh, and like a walkway, like a trail type thing. And uh, yeah, it's just a really nice place to go when I want to be alone and just kind of think some things through. You know? um, I haven't been there in a while, actually, but it's a really nice place to go. And my husband and I actually have been there several times because we both grew up in the same area. So we're both very familiar with that, the pits. Uh, you know, we both hung out there quite often when we were younger. So it's just kind of a special place for both of us. It's changed a lot. It doesn't look anywhere near like it used to when we were kids. They've kind of built it up and, you know, made it look a little nicer. Because when I was a kid, it was just kind of a, I don't know, 
kind of haphazard place to be. Maybe not the smartest place for us to go hang out. I'm surprised nobody got hurt there. Uh, but, you know, it's just, just a, it's just a, I don't know, part of my childhood that I really have fond memories of. And so, yeah, it's just a good place to go. It's a really soothing, relaxing, tranquil place to be. Number two, if you had to spend the rest of your life as a TV character, who would it be and why? <laughs> who would it be and why? Uh, let me think here. I honestly would say Blanche from the Golden Girls. She's so much fun. And she has the best outfits, best makeup, best hairdos, you know, best shoes, best purses. And, she, you know, she had a lot of fun. She was dating lots of dudes and having a grand old time. And she's just hilarious. I, I would also like to maybe be Rose, too. But, you know, she's, she was the airhead of the group. But I can be the airhead of the group, that's for sure. But, yeah, I would have to stick with Blanche. I just love the show Golden Girls. It's such a wonderful show. I, do I have... Yeah, I have a coaster that says Stay Golden behind me up on that shelf that my daughter got me several years ago because she knows how much I love the Golden Girls. She also got me a Golden Girls coloring book. And I do have the window open and the fans on because my husband's home and the cars. I don't, I don't, I always want to know, like, where's everyone going at 530 in the morning? But okay, I don't, I don't know. Uh, so I apologize for the the noise, the excess noise, but it's just, I would be sitting here sweating like a monster if I didn't have that going on. But yeah, I own all of the Golden Girls uh, seasons on DVD. I like that. It's maybe a little patchy, but it, you know, it's, it's, it's doing okay. But I own all of the seasons of Golden Girls on DVD and I haven't watched them in quite a while, but I just love the show. And my husband loves the show too. So maybe I can talk him into watching that with me over the weekend. Let's see, number three, what does not belong on a pizza? Okay, before I answer that, I'm gonna pick another shade here. I'm trying to think. I think actually what I'm gonna do is go into this shade right here. And this is called Irigi, I-R-I-J-I. -I. I'm probably totally mispronouncing that, I apologize, but that's going in my crease. Um, I don't like onions, so I would say onions do not belong on a pizza. I need to find a brush here. I just, I don't know, I don't like onions. So anytime there's onions on a pizza, uh, I usually just pick them off. I also don't think that pineapple belongs on a pizza either. My husband totally disagrees with me about that. He loves pineapple on pizza. His uh, pizza that he always wants or always gets is pepperoni, Canadian bacon, olives, and pineapples. And I, I eat it, I just pick the pineapples off and give them to him. But the onions, man, uh, I don't like onions on pizza. My son really likes the barbecued chicken pizza that's got the red onion slices on it. And I'm just like, Bleh. I cannot do that. It's so gross to me. Number four, are you more likely to be early or late? Early. Well, unless it's work. I, I am late to work quite often because, you know, I film before work. Although I, I have plenty of time to get to work on time even though I do film in the mornings but I don't know some I just some mornings it's like I'm not getting to work on time uh Jan and Shawnee are very well aware of that because we Marco Polo each other in the mornings um and throughout the day and into the evenings and stuff but they've they know that I'm late to work most often <laughs> oh geez I think what happens too is I just start farting around after I get my makeup on and stuff I don't know I just take my sweet time and then I'm like, oh my God, wait, oh. And then I'm racing off to work like a banshee. So, but like for other appointments and stuff like that, like doctor's appointments and I don't know what, just other things, I'm usually early, like way too early. My dad is notorious for being like super early. When my son used to have football games, he would get there like an hour before the game started and just sit in his truck waiting for all of us to show up. And I'd be like, dad, I don't have to get here that early. I'm not that early, but I, I, I uh, maybe a couple times I've been that early to certain things. Number five, if you could rename yourself, what would you choose? I love the name Harper. If I had another daughter, I would have named her Harper. I just love that name. I think it's so, it's like a, you know, it's feminine, but it's strong. You know, I just love all of that. And I love the name Sydney. That's my daughter's name. And I would love to be a Sydney. Um... I actually named her after a student teacher. Well, I mean, I didn't really name her after, but I got the name Sydney from the student teacher that I had in high school. She was amazing. 
And the cool thing was, is that that woman, Sydney, ended up being the principal at Sydney's middle school. And when she graduated from eighth grade, I'm gonna go back around with this brush, just kind of blend that a little bit. When Sydney graduated from the eighth grade, uh, the principal, Sydney, did like a you know, whole speech about, you know, this, the class that was graduating and stuff. And at the very end, she had me stand up. She said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call on a mom to stand up here. And she said my name and I stood up and I was like, what's she gonna do? I had no idea she was gonna do this. And she said, this was uh, a student in my very first class that I ever student taught in. And she named her daughter, Sydney. And she said, uh, that's one of the most special parts of my uh, teaching career is knowing that there is another Sydney out in the world because I was her teacher. So that was really neat. It gives me the chills just talking about it. It was really cool and everybody clapped and I cried. <laughs> it was great. So now I think what I'll do is go into this shade here and this is called Ofala, O-F-A-L-A. -A. Put that in my outer V and into my crease and then I'm gonna deepen it up even more with this one here which is called Izafa, I-Z-A-F-A, -A, but I'm starting off with that one. And I'll use this little brush here. Okay, number six, what is your most treasured possession? I would say my rings of my mom's or my mom's rings. Uh, when my mom passed away, of course, I took her rings and have kept them ever since. Uh, we did actually give, or I did give um, my mom's wedding set, wedding ring set to my daughter or actually to her, well, her husband now, but uh, when he came and asked me for my permission for or my blessing, whatever, for her, him to marry her, uh, I gave him my mom's wedding ring set because my mom had said on multiple occasions that she really wanted Sydney to have those rings if she passed on that she wanted Sydney to have her wedding rings. So Sydney has those. Uh, this ring right here, actually, this one is my mom's ring too. Um, Paul was going to get me like this whole big wedding set. He got me this ring, the, my engagement ring. He was going to get me like a whole big set and I'm not a real big ring wearer. I mean, I love rings, but my hands are teeny and I can't really wear like big rings necessarily. I don't really like to anyway. And I said, you know what? I would much rather just use one of my mom's rings as my wedding ring. And so that's what I've done. Um, I really want to get these fused because this is a little too big and I don't, I don't know. I thought about maybe getting it size smaller. I don't know what to do with it necessarily. I'm going to move this here. Stay there. Okay. Um, but I think I'm just going to have them fused together because this one spins a lot and I don't know. Uh, but I have other rings of hers too. And so they're just very special to me. They're my most treasured possession. Absolutely. Because of course, with my mom not being here anymore, I just, I love that. Love having her rings. And I take them out often and we'll look at them and think of my mom. And I'm going to go back around with the brush with had the pink shade on it. Uh, so yeah, I would say those are my most treasured possessions. Also, you know, like my pictures and stuff of my kids and, you know, like their baby books and stuff like that. And I have some of their baby clothes and it's very special to me. I also have my feely blanket, which I sucked my thumb from the time that I was born, probably in utero until I was 11. And I used this feely blanket that's just rags basically tied together. I mean, it was a full blanket at one point, but it ripped and tore and so I just knotted it all together. And so that's a very treasured possession too. I know that sounds weird, but I just, I love my feely. I love it. It's very special to me. So now I'm gonna go into this shade, uh, Izafa, I-Z-A-F-A, -A, and put that in my outer V. Uh, the next question is, what is your go-to snack while on a road trip? I like salty snacks when I'm on a road trip. So anything salty, usually like um, the sour cream and cheddar ruffles, potato chips, love, love those. Um, and then the Gardetto little like bread hunks and pretzels, I like those, really yummy. Um, I do like sweet stuff too sometimes. Oh, jerky is another thing I like to eat when I'm on a road trip. I love to eat jerky. Yes. Uh, but I, you know, I'll get chocolate too sometimes, like a Snickers bar, like the almond Snickers. That's my very favorite. And, uh, or I'll get like Skittles, like fruity candies. Now that we have the freeze dried Skittles, changed my whole entire life. Love them. <laughs> I've eaten so many of those. Jan sent me this huge big bag of freeze dried Skittles. I, they were gone in like a day and a half, I think. And I did let my husband have a few 
but by a few, I mean like four or five, okay? And the bag was like enormous. I kept meaning to show it in a video and then I just ate the whole damn thing. So yeah, mm -hmm. and then I get them at the store all the time. But yeah, I would say I'm always gonna go with chips first and then whatever else after that. Number eight, which food will you never get sick of eating? Freeze dried Skittles. <laughs> Uh, no, let me think. Let me have a real serious answer here. Although that, that is pretty serious right now anyway. Um, I really like baked potatoes. I could eat baked potatoes at every meal. So good. So good. And I love steak. Um, I'm going to go back around actually with this brush and just blend that a little bit more. Um, I'm kind of mushing all those shades together, which is fine. I just kind of wanted to have some light and then some depth and just kind of have a, I don't know, just a fun, fun, mushy look of a bunch of colors. <laughs> right? Random. But yeah, I really do love baked potatoes and I love it with barbecued steak. That's my favorite meal to eat. And I don't think I can ever get sick of eating that really, you know, either one, either the baked potato or the steak. Uh, my tongue gets a little tired of the freeze dried Skittles, right? Cause it's, they're so like acidic or whatever that my tongue is like, Hey lady, enough. That's enough. I'm going to go back into the shade just a little bit, the pink shade. Just gonna add a little bit more pink back in here. What was your worst date? Huh. I've mentioned this before in another video, but I went on a date with this guy. I met him through one of my coworkers when I worked at Dairy Queen when I was in college. And you know, he, he was a nice enough guy in the beginning. He was fine, you know, just kind of kind of dorky, but he was nice. I'm mean, kind of dorky too, so that's that's not a put down. Um but he and I were not a match. Uh, and on one of the dates that we went on, God, uh, we were driving in his Jeep and he was talking to me about how he was going to go hunting like that weekend or the next weekend or something like that. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, and I'm, what are you hunting for? And he's like elk. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, so now for the shimmers, I'll get to the rest of the story here in just a second. I think what I'm going to do is put this shade towards the outer part here, which might look weird, but I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna use this one here, and then that one. So this one is called Kaleke, K-E-L-E-K-E, -E -E, and I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, I'll use this brush here to do that. This might look real weird, but you know, we're gonna go random, right? That's what the point, the whole point is. Anyway, so we're driving down the freeway in his Jeep, and he's talking to me about his elk hunting trip. And all of a sudden, he, starts to like scream shriek while he's driving and i mean it scared me so bad that i like slammed myself up against the door the car door jeep door whatever and i said i well i don't think i said anything initially i just kind of looked at him and he goes that is an elk mating call and he winked at me and i'm like okay and i just said could you warn me the next time you crack out with one of those because that totally scared the shit out of me Oh gosh. And so then when we went bowling, we were going bowling that night. That's all he did was talk about uh, his elk hunting trip. Which, you know, so it's okay, but it's like, okay, let's move on now. You know, we've talked about that. I get it. Let's move on now. And I don't know. He just, we just were not a good match. So I uh, had him take me home. That was also very awkward because he just, like, I was like, okay, he walked me to the door and I'm like, okay, it was nice to see you. Kind of give him a hug. I'll see you later. And I opened the door and he like walked in my apartment before I even got into the apartment. And I'm like, I didn't want you to come in the apartment. And so my roommate, who was a total badass, God, I love her. Uh, we're still friends. We talk every so often. We text each other every so often. But anyway, uh, she could tell I was pissed. And so she said, uh, you, you need to leave. You need to go. Uh, I may have told her too that I was pissed, but I think she could just tell by my facial expression that I was really not happy that he was in the house. So she told him to leave and never talked to him again after that. He did call me a couple times. I'm gonna use this and just kind of clean this stuff up because it's starting to bug me. Um, he did call me a couple of times and I just ignored his phone calls, you know. And the, well, I mean, this was before we had caller ID, but I just, you know, he'd leave a message and I just wouldn't call him back. Okay, I'm gonna go now do the other eye. I might add a little bit more of that back in, but we'll see. I'm just gonna go back, go to the other eye now. So that was my worst date. I mean, I had some other pretty doozy dates, but that was my worst. Number 11, which celebrity would you choose for your best friend? Which celebrity would I choose for my best friend, huh? I would say Melissa McCarthy. I just think she is so damn funny. 
and I think we would have an amazing time together. I love her sense of humor. I, I think she's beautiful and she just seems like so much fun, you know, just so fun. I would love to hang out with her and just have an absolute blast. That would be so amazing. Ugh, I love her. Um, I also really love Jodie Foster. I would love Jodie Foster to be my best friend too. I think she's wonderful. And of course she stars in my favorite movie, which is Silence of the Lambs. So <laughs> that's all I would want to talk to her about is the movie Silence of the Lambs. She would probably not want to be my best friend. She would get so tired of me. She'd be like, do we have to talk about Silence of the Lambs again? Yes, Jody, we do. Sit down and talk to me about it. I think what I'm gonna have to do is get a, a wet wipe. This is a kind of an older wipe that's just kind of hanging out in here and clean this up because it's getting real black smudgy on my face. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into this shade right here. And this is called uh, a dog woo, O-D-O-G-W-U, and put that right in the center there. Uh, I do need to grab a brush for this as well. I'll grab this one. Uh, let's see. The next question, number 12, would you rather go hiking or play video games? I'd much rather go hiking. I, you know, I mean, I've played video games before. Of course I have. But actually, I think I'm just going to take this across the whole lid space here that's, that's free. Uh, I am kind of a jackass when I play video games because I cannot sit still. I move with the, like, avatars or whatever you want to call them. You know, like if I'm playing like Mario Kart, say, as he's driving and stuff, I'm moving around. And my son's always like, Mom, you don't have to move. Like, you're not really in the car with him. I'm like, Brayden, I do have to move because I feel like it makes me play better. <laughs> so he used to always get like kind of annoyed with me that I was sitting next to him on the couch, like swinging my body around. He's like, Mom, chill. <laughs> God. Uh, and I'm just not that great at them. I mean, you know, like I used to play Mortal Kombat when I was in college and high school, college, whatever, and Sonic the Hedgehog and that kind of stuff. And I was okay, but it's just, I'm not a good video game player. I'm just not. I'm going to go with my finger and just kind of smush this a little bit. Uh, so I'd much rather go on a hike. And I just like to be outside too. You know, I do. I love, I love to go hiking. And in Oregon, I'm going to go with the uh, Kaleke shade and just kind of put that right here. Um, in Oregon, there are so many places to go hiking that are absolutely stunning, right? I mean, just tons, tons of beautiful hiking spots here. I mean, it's, it's amazing all the different places you can go to hike. And there's, you know, short hikes, long hikes, strenuous hikes, little hikes, you know, not, not, or not strenuous or whatever, you know, just really, really fun to go hiking here. It's lovely. And so, yeah, I would much rather go for a hike. Um, if you guys ever come to Oregon... I highly recommend the bull, no, not bull, blue pool hike. My hair is getting on my forehead. The blue pool hike. It's so beautiful. And it's a nice hike. You know, I mean, it's it's a little uphill and kind of, you know, ee -er, ee -er, but it's really a fun hike. And uh, Silver Falls is also a wonderful place to go hiking as well. Uh, let's see. Number 13. What is your fave Disney character? And that would have to be the genie when Robin Williams played the genie in Aladdin. Loved that role. Loved it. And I used to like know all of his lines. Like used to quote from Aladdin all the time. <laughs> his lines from that movie. I just love him so much. I miss Robin Williams so much. He was one of my absolute favorite comedians, if not my favorite. Oh man. The world really lost a beautiful light when he passed away. Oh man, that sucks. And I'm trying to think. I also love the kittens in the Aristocats. I love all three of the baby kittens in Aristocats. And I love the mom, Duchess. And I love, uh, what's his name? Thomas O'Malley, the alley cat. He's so cute. I'm going to go back in with my finger with the black shade and just kind of bop that on right here just to kind of smush those shades together a little bit better. Number 14, are you an introvert or an extrovert? I'm a little bit of both, really. I mean, I am an extrovert. I do like to be social and talk and, you know, that like this type of stuff's really fun. I don't know if this means I'm an extrovert because I have a YouTube channel, but maybe. I don't know. Uh, but I also can be an in introvert, too. Like, I, there are times when I just want to be by myself and not really be talking to anybody. You know, I just need that time to myself. Uh, and there are times when I'm in social situations where I do get pretty anxious because I'm just like, Ugh, I don't, heh. but usually I can, you know, be in social situations. Like, you know, if I don't know the people I'm with, you know, like 
work stuff that I've, you know, I don't know, I've gone to work functions where I didn't really know anybody. I was like the representative for my office or whatever, and I had to schmooze with people. And I can do it. I don't always love to do it, but I can do it. I'm going to go back around with this brush right here because I kind of screwed up that black shade when I put it all on my finger. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I don't know how I feel about the black edge right here. I can't really blend that a ton with the red shades because it's just not really working that well. I mean, you know, it's just they're, they're very different shades. So I might go back into the black just a little bit and just add, I don't know, just kind of push this out just a little bit more, I think. So I'm, not, I'm kind of a mix of introvert and extrovert. The last question is, what's your astrological sign? And I'm a Cancer. My birthday is July 12th, so I'm, I'm a Cancer. And, you know, I mean, I do believe in some of the astrological stuff. You know, like I've looked at descriptions of Cancers, you know, that they're very sensitive and, <clears throat> excuse me, that they're very sensitive and they have like a, I don't know, like a harder outer shell, although I don't really have a harder outer shell, but like a smushy, sensitive, mushy inside. I definitely have that for sure. I don't, like I said, I don't know that I have the, I'm going to go back into the orange shade here, uh, the hard exterior necessarily. I don't know. Maybe I see myself wrong, but uh, there's other things about cancers that I feel like are very accurate. But then, you know, I've also looked at other signs and I there's things that are about other signs that are accurate about my personality too. So I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I know that tons of people are super into astrology and I'm not saying that I'm not, I just am not, I'm, I'm also like, I don't, I don't live my life based on astrology, I guess is what I'm saying. So I think I'm pretty much done here. Um, I don't know that I love the black shade, but you know, I put it on there and that's what I'm going with. So I'm going to go do my lower lash lines, rest of my face, get my hair dried and I will come back. So this is the finished look, and I really like how the look turned out. There's one shade, though, that I used out of the palette for this look that I'm not in love with. I'll show you the palette again and talk to you about it. But let me show you just a few things I put on my face for my finished look. On my lips, I used a liquid lipstick from Handan. I got this off the Timu website. I'm pretty sure I purchased this one. I got several in PR. But I love this liquid lipstick. I have several of the Handan ones, and they're just really nice. They're very cheap and they work really well. They feel nice on the lips and then they stay on all day. And I just love this shade. I thought it looked nice with the eye look. And then for my upper lid liner, I use the Fatal Beauty Black Like My Soul Felt Tip Liner. Again, I love this. I'm gonna have to order another one. And then for my lower water lines, I used a Beauty Creations gel liner in the shade Mango Tango. Love this set of gel liners. They are amazing. And I just thought this shade would look good with the eye look, of course. And then for my mascara, I used the Catchy Eyes from Gosh Cosmetics. Love it. So now let's talk about the palette, The Festival by Juvia's Place. I love this palette. I think it's gorgeous and it's really fun. Very random. I do think it's a very random color story. Sometimes I don't really know exactly what to do. But I tried doing something a little different today than I normally would. And I do like how it turned out. However, this shade right here called Kaleke, I think is, I don't know. I'm probably totally pronouncing that wrong, completely wrong. But what's happening is that it's just continuing to fall off my lids onto my face. I did pop a little bit of this on my lower lash lines as well. And then I popped these two shades on my lower lash lines too, this one and that one. And uh, I don't know, I just keep seeing little flecks of black that I smear and make a big mess. And then I've had to reapply my concealer a couple times, repowder. I'm like, okay. And I don't remember the shade doing that in the past. Maybe a little bit of fallout, but not, not continual fallout, you know? I don't know how I'm gonna look at the end of the day. But I really did like all the mattes in here, the mattes that I used. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I used all the mattes, right? Yeah. And they're lovely. I did think this one was a little patchy at first, but you know, the more I applied and kept blending, it was fine, totally fine. I liked how all of these work together. I did use this shade called Uli in my inner corners and I love it. I think it's beautiful. But my favorite shade out of this palette for this look today is this one right here loved it. It's very opaque and applied easily. I think it looks really nice on my lids. A little bit of fallout, but not, not much. But yeah, this shade's not making me very happy. I do think this palette, I think the age is catching up with it. This is at least two years, if not older than that, right? I've had it in my collection for at least probably over two years. And so, you know, this might just be getting too old to be used. So this might, I don't know if I can pop the shades out of here. I don't think so without making the palette into a complete disaster. So I'll just leave it, but I don't know that I'll, I will use that shade again. 
I don't know, but I love using it. Really fun and so much fun to collab with Nikki again. Please go to Nikki's channel, subscribe, support her, show her a ton of love. Of course, watch this video and watch all of her other videos. She's so much fun to watch and she is beautiful and talented and creative. And I cannot wait to see what palette she used. I think she did tell me I'll have to go back and look through our text messages and remind myself what palette she used. And also I'm excited to hear the answers to her questions. Now, if you have a, a channel and you wanna uh, answer these questions, go for it. I'll have them listed in my description box. Make sure you tag me though so I can go and watch your video. Or if you don't have a channel and you'd like to answer some of these questions or all the questions in the comment section, go for it. But keep your eyes open because Nikki and I are gonna be continuing to do collabs and I cannot wait. I just love her madly. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your lives to sit down and watch this video. If you're new here and you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing, smash the like button, and of course, comment down below in the comment section. I love to chat with you guys there. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video. But in the meantime, please take very good care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy, and I will definitely be seeing you soon. Bye. Drop it.